This video is for all of you who faced a rejection for the fall 22 intake and are appearing again for the interview this month. In this video, we are going to consolidate all the resources to give you a complete preparation guide for your next F1 visa interview. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. There is a complete playlist for the fall 22 intake. Make sure that you check it out. Now, we've been closely watching and monitoring all the rejections that have been happening over the last two months across embassies in India. And after analyzing this data, we have classified the rejections into five categories. And we're pretty sure that your reason for rejection would fall into one of these categories. So in this video, we're going to go through each of these categories and point you to a useful resource, a useful video, which will help you understand what was the reason for rejection and how to fix it for your next attempt. So let's get started. So the first reason for rejection is university. Now, not being able to justify why you have selected the university was the single biggest reason for rejection in the fall 22 intake. And this is a question which troubled a lot of students, especially those who went to the Mumbai embassy. If your interview is going to start with the question, why this university, then getting those first few words, first sentence right is critically important. I cannot stress enough how important it is to structure your answer in such a way that the first few words are impactful and communicate the exact reason for choosing this university. So if your interview went southwards after the question, why this university, you need to rework the way you are presenting your reasoning. For this, check out this video. This is a detailed video which is going to explain you how you need to structure the answers. It includes do's and don'ts and includes sample answers as well. In addition to that, this video is also going to point you to more resources through which you can find unique points about the university. So do check it out. Bring in an interesting fact. Let's talk to Jandi and see how she answers this question. So Jandi, why did you pick this university? I selected this university because the course curriculum has a dedicated career track in cyber security. The second reason for rejection is funding. Now funding was the second biggest reason for rejection for fall 22 interviews. And in this cases, we saw that either the funding was not sufficient, the numbers just didn't add up, or the information was not complete. Though the student had the funding sources, but the complete information was not presented to the visa officer. So you need to take care of both these things, having sufficient funds and presenting it clearly to the visa officer. So for this, we have a dedicated video which talks about the five possible mistakes you could be making while presenting your funding and how you need to fix it. So if you felt that your F1 visa interview lacked when it comes to the funding part, do check out this video which will explain to you what are the possible mistakes you could have made in your last attempt and obviously how to fix it. The third reason for rejection was the course. Many interviews started with basic questions such as which course, why this course, and if here you're going to fumble, mumble, make a mess, it's going to be a problem. So make sure that basic questions such as which course, why this course, what do you want to study in US are done absolutely perfectly. And for this, we have a video which is going to explain just how you can do that. So this video explains to you how to answer questions related to your course and your course curriculum to the visa officer. So make sure to check out this video. And as a bonus, the video also includes some of the latest F1 visa questions which have been asked in the last two months. So that's going to help you as well. The fourth reason for rejection was not practicing enough. Now you might have structured the answers in your head. You might know that, okay, this is what I'm going to say to the visa officer. But if you have not practiced, not taken mocks, there's a very good chance that on the actual day of the interview, when you're standing in front of the VO, the words are not going to come out the way you thought they would, right? So if you felt that for your F1, in your previous F1 interview, you prepared, you knew what to say, but you just couldn't say it, that means that you need to double down on the practice that you did. And this can be fixed by taking mock interviews. So we have a video which is a live mock interview video and this video will take you through all the questions for the fall 22 intake, give you time to practice it and of course also and explain to you how you can assess your performance. So watch this video before watching it make sure that you turn off all distractions, give yourself enough time and take a live mock interview with me. 
In addition to this, if you want to take an actual interview with me, we can do that in a one-to-one -one session. So you can book a mock interview session with me. The link for that is in the description box below. We make it very close to the actual visa interview. And this will not only give you a practice session, but also help you in structuring the answers and identifying the potential mistakes, which can improve your chances of getting the F1 visa. So the link for this is in the description box below. Make sure to check it out. This is the approximate time you will have in the actual visa interview as well. So try to answer and complete your answer within this stipulated period of time. Tell me about yourself. What have you done since graduation? And fifth, last but not the least, the reason for rejection were mistakes in basics. And it was quite sad to see so many visas getting rejected due to very simple mistakes in basics such as the I-20 service fee payment. So many times the I-20 had errors in it and the student was just sent back to fix the I-20 and come back. And in many cases, there were issues with service fee payment. Either the fee was not paid, the fee was paid but not reflecting in the system, or the fee was paid to the incorrect university. So. It would be such a waste of all the efforts that you did if you went for the interview and got rejected because of certain mistakes and basics like this. So make sure that you check all of these basics. And for this, we have a video which tells you how to do it. So in this video, you will see a checklist of all the basics that you need to be covered before you even think of the interview preparation. So watch this video and make sure that you are absolutely thorough with all the basics and there are no mistakes in any of that. Speaking of the basics, I also want to tell you about the seven day program that we have for the fall 22 intake. So if you're looking for a stress-free, complete preparation guide, which is going to take care of everything, right from understanding your profile, filling your DS-160 form, answer structuring to multiple mock sessions, then the seven day program is just for you. And this is basically an end-to-end -end preparation guide and students who have taken it have found it absolutely useful. So if you too are looking for a thorough preparation, for your next F1 visa interview, do check out the seven day program. The link for that is in the description box below. So these were the top five reasons for rejections for fall 22 intake and how you can fix it. In addition to that, I also want to reiterate the importance of dressing well and presenting yourself properly to the visa officer. So before you go for the next interview, also make sure that you are wearing the right clothes, the right attire. And for this, of course, we have a video. So there's a video on what exactly you need to wear for your F1 visa interview for both boys and girls. So make sure that you watch this video and prepare yourself accordingly. In addition to all these video resources, we also have some free PDF resources which will help you in your preparation. So let me quickly tell you about that. The first one is a F1 question bank. So we have consolidated all the possible interview questions which have been asked in the last two months into one question bank. And this PDF question bank will basically give you the complete set of questions you need to prepare. So do download this PDF. The link for that is in the description box. The second is a document checklist. So documents are asked very rarely, but you need to go thoroughly prepared with respect to the documents, especially the financial documents. So we have a financial and a complete document checklist. The link for that is right below. And last, we have a D-Day checklist as well. So once you're thorough with everything, you want to run through a final checklist to make sure that you are 100% ready for the visa interview. And the D-Day checklist is going to help you do just that. So all of these useful resources are mentioned in the description box. You can check it out. So I hope that this video has given you a complete preparation guide for your next F1 visa interview and you are able to find the reason for rejection and fix it. I can totally understand how a rejection can be disheartening, it's demotivating, but what you need to remember is that F1 visa interviews, rejections can be fixed. There are tons and tons of examples of people facing multiple rejections and yet getting their visa approved. So there is always light at the end of this tunnel. It's all about finding what went wrong getting into the right strategy and of course executing it if you need any more help and want to work with me one-to-one -one, do get in touch the links for all of the ways in which you can prepare with me is right below in the description box we have more useful content coming up in this channel for the fall 22 intake for the august month and more useful videos which will tell you about how you can overcome this rejection so make sure that you subscribe press the bell icon and stay tuned that's all for today if you have any more questions feel free to leave it in the comment section below or reach out to me personally on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. You can DM me here. Signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one.